Marjorie Green had something to say about Donald Trump's recent commentary about vaccines. So we're gonna jump into her thought process. <laughs> She tweeted, I just got off the phone with my favorite president of all time, Donald J. Trump. We discussed many issues, people, races in 22, as well as vaccines and mandates. We discussed COVID-19, how awful the virus from China has been, and how horribly it's been politicized. Yes, they hate politicizing it or getting people to organize their political ideology or identity around COVID. They definitely don't like that. She goes on to say, this is such an amazing sentence from this woman who considers herself some kind of alpha. Like, then I'm not gonna, McCarthy can't control me, Mitch McConnell can't control, nobody can control me. Then she says, I have President Trump's permission to tell you all that he is 100% against the mandates, but he still encourages everyone to get the vaccine and booster. That is his position. He also said if he was president, he would never mandate the vaccines and no one would be fired. His whole thing is literally you're fired. So that's a weird position to take. <laughs> but anyway, she has she has his permission to tell the audience something that he says over and over again publicly and indeed did during that interview. Well, that thank you. Thank you for being a primary source for that information. She goes on to say, finally, for everyone that criticizes President Trump about when COVID started with shoulda, couldas, and wouldas, I think he and I don't. She's doing like the possessive there, you could just put the S. Anyway, I think he and his administration did the best they could. The virus was brand new and we'd never seen anything like it. Biden deserves the criticism, he has no excuses. So the guy that didn't do anything is blameless. The guy who has tried and you've undercut is the one who deserves the blame. How about this, how about blame both of them? Both of them could have done more, Oh, also you. You definitely deserve some blame because you didn't want us to do anything when it was new, and you don't want us to do anything now. Hundred percent. I mean, that's just the way it works. And now, back to the coulda, wouldas, and shouldas that shouldn't be in the possessive form. Um, <laughs> the thing is, is there coulda, wouldas, and shouldas now, but when he was not doing anything, it was should, could, would. Please right now, please do right now for a year straight. You know what you should do, Mr. President, not what you should have done. It's still time. Do it now. Still didn't do it. So no more. There's no hindsight as 2020 from the people who are criticizing Donald Trump and his response to COVID. The hindsight was right then, and it was also from the medical. I mean, from from the scientific community who understand how these things work and told us how it would work. Like now, we're still learning about this specific virus. But mm -hmm. this is how these things work. And every time we learn something else, this is what we're giving you information on. Listen to it. And instead, yeah. it's, look how they're trying to control me with their information and smart people. Yeah. That, that's what we got instead. So then it turned into shoulda, wouldas, and couldas. And lastly, Biden deserves the criticism. He has no excuses, is what she said in that third tweet. In that thread, was that a thread, John? It was a thread, yeah. Was, uh, at the top of that thread, again, at the bottom of that thread, it was, Biden deserves the criticism. At the top of that thread, it was, we discussed COVID, how awful it is, and how horribly it's been politicized. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Isn't it horrible how you keep politicizing things, Marjorie Taylor Greene? It is, it is. Sucks. Sucks, I think we need to stop. You're right, it shouldn't be politicized. Also, um, so he deserves the criticism, he has no excuses. Uh, let me ask a follow up question, uh, no excuses for what? What would you like him to do? You don't. Correct. You don't want them to do anything. You don't want mandates. You don't want people to take the vaccine. You don't think that they should get tested. What is he not doing that you would like him to do then, honestly? What? Literally the only things that she would say he is doing that is worth criticizing is the mandates. But that's obviously the mandates aren't leading to more death. So if the cases, hospitalizations and deaths deserve blame, why would he have the blame when you literally don't want him to do anything to stop it? it? None of it makes any sense, but again, it doesn't have to because as crazy as she is, the people who are gobbling this up are even crazier. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is, so you don't miss anything.